Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to charge, how to proper charge this lithium ion cell or better known as 18650 cells. Alright, so you want to make a power wall, you want to make a power pack. Yeah? You got the cells, you saw the videos of Heu Garcia or HB power wall or something uh, very similar, you know, and now you decided to make your own pack. The most important thing besides buying the cells and arranging them and all the stuff. The most important part is the charging process of this 18650 cell. All right. Like this one is a small power bank. Yeah? Inside there is a circuit, which you saw in my previous videos and stuff. Uh, this one is, char is responsible for charging and is charging the lithium cells. But taking uh, into look uh, to the manufacturer data sheet like here yeah it says that to charge proper these lithium ion cells you're gonna need a s some kind of device to charge it with constant current till 4 volts and then with constant voltage till the rest meaning 4.2 volts and so on all right in order to be able to do this stuff we're gonna need a device we're gonna need similar to this stuff i choose this one because it's kind of reliable apparently is a genuine one but i don't know much about this one but this one is good for many purposes but in our application of today charging the lithium ion or 18650 cells with this lipo charger this one is called IB Max Pro, IMAX B6 Sky RC Light Pro Balance Charger. All right, this one does many things, many stuff, but the most important for our cell, at least for the first one, for the step one, you're gonna need a constant current, which means it's gonna provide the constant current for a length of time, and then it's gonna switch off to the constant voltage. All right, let's plug it in and see what's next. First thing, when you decide to buy this IMAX B6 Pro Balance Charger, take into account that if you're gonna buy it cheaply from eBay, Amazon or wherever, they're not gonna supply you with the power source, which it says here, DC 11 till 18 volts. So you're gonna be end up buying one of these uh, adapters. I bought this one from eBay. This is a 12 volts, 5 amps adapter. Yeah, so I'm using 12 volts and 5 amps for this uh, IMAX B6 charger. But you can use your laptop uh, adapter or something similar, which is in the range between 11 and 18 volts. All right, let's plug it in and see what this one can do. All right, friends, let's plug it in. And as well, you're going to need some cables into... Uh, this kind of end which are provided in most of the, the cases you know these cases are like so and they are connected in the other way all right first things you're gonna see a menu like this one program select nitrile nitrometal metal hydrate NICAD plumb or regular lead acid batteries Save data, load, all right, and the program. All right, we have this section here, LiPo battery. We're gonna hit start. And now we have a few options. LiPo charge, discharge, storage, fast charging, balance, and again, so on. All right, we're gonna use the charge option of this uh, thing, yeah? If you want to charge multiple cells like this, you have to make one of these uh, battery holder, nothing fancy, just wire them in parallel and you're gonna end up with your batteries, put it here according to the polarity and so on. Yeah, so you have your battery pack. You are now in the charging options. You have now some options here. This is the current, one amp. This is the voltage, yeah? Let's hit enter. 
you see now it's flashing you can adjust the current by pressing the uh, these arrows left and right yeah 0, 6, 0, 4, 0, whatever so 0 0.1 meaning 100 milliamps is the minimum and the maximum is 1 amp or even more no is more the maximum charge is bigger than whatever you want yeah but I recommend you to divide whatever the figure is going to be here with the number of cells that you want to charge. A safe charging method will be to deliver 200, 300, <clears throat> maximum 400, 400 milliamps to each and every single cell. Alright, let's put it now down. It's gonna change. Uh, we're going to select 1 amp. And we're going to press another time, enter. Now the 3.7 volts is going to flash. From this one, you can select. If you are charging 1 or 10, but it's going to be in parallel, you're going to choose 3.7 volts. If you have two of them, it's going to be like 8.4. Let's see. 7.4, it says on 2S. Because... 8.4 uh, is the maximum that is gonna stop. All right, so if you have three cells, it's gonna go 11.1, four cells, 14.8, and something similar. Yeah, but if you're gonna have just one pack with multiple cells in parallel, you're gonna select this 3.7 volts. And now, because we don't have connected the thingy to the to the machine, we're gonna press and hold enter. Now it's going to check, uh, uh, error, connection break means that the battery is not connected to the balancer. Yeah, so this is a simple but very important process in charging your battery. There are other uh, um, steps in your balancing your pack, but we're going to speak in another episode. All right, so in the meanwhile, don't forget constant current and constant voltage if you want to manage your battery cells and have a longer life all right till the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe and see you on to another balancing circuit yeah let's see man connection break huh see <laughs> shit